Okay. We're going to hop right on into it. I want to um, talk about disease now, right now. And the particular disease I want to talk about is, is um, arthritis. Arthritis. We see a lot of young and old people coming down with this disease and the statistics are saying that kids as young as or beings as young as 25 25 is contracting these uh 25 to 25 to 60 or 50 are contracting these diseases i'm thinking like damn 25 young and a, a person don't know how to take care of themselves at 25? Granted, 60, they get a pass, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man. Look at the word, like, arthritis. A-R, dealing with. No, you can get. You can get it in your upper or lower. It, it don't matter. But the body can get filled with this type of, like, filled with this mucus, which is the downgrade of plasma. You heard me what I'm saying? The downgrade of plasma. So when this plasma is not, it's not, uh, how can I say it? It's not treated well. You're not handling it well. You're not handling your juice. You're not handling your juice right. You're not eating what you need to eat, drinking what you need to drink, stretching, doing what you need to do, nutrients, all of that stuff. You're not doing that. The body gets, or even if you're doing it and it's the wrong things, even if you're doing it and it's the wrong things, like eating a bunch of sugar, fatty foods, all of that stuff, you can taint this plasma, but the body becomes the muscles, the joints, the, the fibers become... The fibers become... Uh, inflame. Now there's two types of um, arthritis. Two types of arthritis that that uh, that have been introduced into the body at at some points in time, or actually these thoughts, these tainted thoughts, have been introduced. This potential of failing. The potential of failing has been introduced into the thought around a period where they were changing a lot of a lot of natural a lot of natural remedies, a lot of natural ways, a lot of natural just positive. Just there's the government and all of these people that study medicine and learn how to re-engineer the genome to where it'll go down which is failing instead of up which is ascending we doing new things and innovative things it's, it's smooth sailing we know um, we can't eat the fruit now we know we can't eat the vegetables now. If any, if you consume in anything, it'll be um, local, but not even local. Like you have to grow it yourself because you don't know what nobody else is growing their food with. Are they even taking care of it, shooting it with uh, pesticides or whatever to keep the bugs off and all of that stuff. So, 
the, the two types of arthritis is osteo, which is one, one of them. And the osteo is dealing with the inflammation of the bones. And you're like, how come my bones get in? Get, I thought they was hard. Well, they won't be hard if you're taking care of yourself. They get dense the more you take care of yourself. But if you're not taking care of yourself, then how can you expect your bones to be up to par? On top of that, your body. How can you how can you think that you will even be up to par? But osteo is inflammation of the the bone. Now think about that. This is the first. All right, I ain't going to say the first. This is an introduction to hell. Your bones are in, your body is inflamed. Because we there's no physical hell. I mean, there's no hell physically <laughs> we can go to when we live here by not doing what we need to do. <clears throat> you can, um, put yourself in hell by the thoughts that you have and you can, you know, you can channel hell. Like you can actually make hell. But this is one way to, that they speak over our heads. You're setting the house on fire, basically. You're setting the house on fire and Wind doesn't help fires. Oxygen makes fire grow, makes fires grow. Like, you ever seen somebody trying to put a fire on and they fan it with the, or just doing some crazy stuff, but they producing oxygen and feeding the fire. But this is a form of hell that they introduce into our thought that that we think by eating what we think is good, it tastes good. I don't like the texture, it feels good to your mouth, I guess. But then you forget in the after effects, you gotta shit all the time, you gotta get up, go pee, or you craving it like, an hour from now or whatever. It's just the substances, you can tell they have you like a, they have you like a fiend in the hood. Like you just, I gotta get more. So you should pay attention because inflammation and these diseases are what's killing us though at a alarming rate. And we should really be aware of what we doing. So we won't keep going in this hellish cycle going down go up and the second the second type of uh, um, arthritis is is the is the uh, rheumatory the rheumatory is dealing with the plasma, I was just talking about the tainted plasma. You basically slowing down the stream, your bloodstream, you putting it on hold. You slowing it up. Know what I mean? It's like running the river dry. And with the body inflamed and the rheumatory, you're gonna have a dry body. Like, 
And then with a dry body, like a car with no oil, what can you do? Clank, 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 clank. That's all you're going to be doing. The joints ain't oil. The, the, the rods ain't pumping right when you got no oil in a car. So just imagine your body with all these aches. You aching all the time. You, you trying to find other ways around it. When really it's just by what you, you soaking up, what you eating. Disease is by choice, but right now in America, we being introduced, our thoughts are being altered to a point of insanity. Like we not thinking about what we doing at all. And then these eggs are gonna cause limb problems, you're not going to be able to pick up stuff, bend down, stretch, squat. All of the stuff your three-year-old self could do. Six-year-old. So now you, hey, little Billy, give me that. Little Joan. But you won't remember what it's like to be buoyant. Buoyancy is like a balance it is you understanding the hardships and the the easy but you keeping it balanced you're trying to keep the balance and then speaking this english lang english language is like a spell in all itself like you um uh, you <laughs> i'm reading up on it earlier It says inflammation was one of the earliest appearances of the suffix. See how they talk in code, the suffix, which is really the suffering in English. The suffering, the, 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 the severing, the cutting, the disconnect of the info. So they, got, they were getting this info and knew about disease or partook in disease and didn't have this knowledge and was putting it on everybody else, making it um, worldwide, making it worldwide, hoping everybody fail because that's what a deceiver does. They blur your vision so you can't see on what to do for you. And then the influence was so strong that it went to other nationalities or races or whatever you want to call the people now. Because, shit, they forget and they energy beings anyway. And that's how you even come across diseases, forgetting what you are, what you need to sustain the body, mind, and soul. Because the the mind is the mind is controlling all of this. The me, the me is controlling all of this. So if if it ain't together, if it's severed in pieces, like they doing to the people in America or United States, shit, even people. Uh, on the islands and continents that they can reach, yeah, they 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 trying to sever these people from their knowledge and take their energy too. But like I was saying, arthritis. Arthritis is setting your body on fire. Setting the house, the temple on fire. You need to smother it. You need to smother it with all the good stuff. 
water, fruit, vegetables, all the good stuff, roots. We got stuff that we ain't been dealing with in decades, but it ain't like eating eating healthy or whatever is, is high. It's really not. Because, shit, if you want a millionaire body or billionaire body, whatever you want to call it, what's the price of this? The price of this this wealthy stuff according to your body. You thought it. You was already indulging in it before it had a price tag on it. So you got to come back. You got to come back. Don't settle and be stagnant. Come back. Come back. Come back to what felt good. You don't want pieces breaking off of your, uh, you don't want pieces breaking off of the motor, man, when it be, just because it ain't got no oil in it. Riding with your homies, then niggas say, damn, only thing you ain't got is no oil in this motherfucker. It's knocking like that. Yep, knock a hole in your shit. So then you throw the brain off of the computer. I mean, you throw the brain off of the, of the, the, the car. Then it won't run right. Same thing with a body. Same thing with a body. You letting it you letting it go dry and then it's pressure built up. And it gotta come out. It gotta come out somewhere. And I wanna uh just touch on this real fast, real fast of how the plasma, the plasma, the plasmic being is on the inside. The plasmic being is on the inside. You ever thought about, thought about what your body look like inside out? Somebody drop, turn you inside out. You're gonna look like a fish, like just a muscle. Just some muscles and arteries and all that stuff. But what we're looking at is this wax, this wax type figure, like. And that's what we we call it buoyant. That's what we want to keep up. But if the if the body is on fire, you're gonna burn out sensors. Joint connections, like you just gonna burn them out. You gonna burn out the the feeling you had, and that's where they want us numb. They want us numb to the fact of, hey, go run off that bridge over there. You can't be like no. You seeing everybody else do it, so you gonna go do it because your thoughts, you 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 that tore down. I mean, I ain't. I ain't never seen no shit like that, but in instances, I bet it it has happened. You know what I mean? Because, shit, we got some loose screws or no screws. Because a person with tight screws ain't fucking with none of that. As soon as the nigga say, hey, hey. But if you don't want to be on fire in hell, in the thought and in the body, then you should really change your um, your routine on how you're going about this life and this knowledge that we receiving. Because this English language, hey, it'll have you spiraling down. Instead of up like you know you can be. So, peace. That was my message.